Hello, friends. How are you? Happy December the 31st, 2021. It is almost 2022. And I hope that you are definitely going to ring in the new year um, responsibly and safely, however you choose to do that. And uh, I hope that you will continue to follow us along today as we do our countdown to literacy at Pandemonium Publishing House. Now, this month, We've decided to focus on reading and counting down to literacy. We've read some of our books from our wonderful authors at Pandemonium Publishing House and our amazing illustrators. And those are the really, really the ones that bring the stories to life. So thank you for all of the illustrators that we have on our team who bring our books to life, like I said before, and to that just make a huge difference in the, the way that we tell stories. So I just want to share this book with you today. This is called Philip Starr, and this is written by Lacey L. Baker, illustrated by Shamil Hyatt, and who better for a best friend than a giant purple elephant? You'll have tons of fun with Philip Starr as you follow him on an adventure that you'll never forget. Now, this is a little bit of a play on words because elephants never forget. We know that, and our main character is an elephant, and there are stars on the pages for kids to find. So let's dig in. There's this boy. He kind of stole my heart. He calls me Auntie. This book is dedicated to my nephew. I can't wait to meet you. Love, Auntie Lacey. So this was dedicated to my nephew, Denver. And uh, this was what I gave my sister during her baby shower. Um, he was her very first baby and uh, we were so excited to meet him. And he still has stolen my heart. He's captured it. And, uh, you know, I just love him so much. He's such a little beast. And uh, <laughs> I always tell him, never let them tame you. <laughs> so hopefully he, he takes my advice. I think he is taking my advice. I'll have to ask my sister later. But um, 2018, I wrote this, and this is illustrated by Shamil Hyatt. Okay. I have a purple elephant. His name is Philip Starr. He really wants to go on trips, but can't fit in the car. He always makes a ton of noise bouncing down the stairs. He loves to wear his rain boots, and of course, he needs two pairs. Each day we have a ton of fun skateboarding outside. We run and jump and skip and play and he seeks and I hide. He loves to get all dirty and then go swimming in the pool. He wants to walk with dad and me when I go off to school. Philip always spills his food so he needs to take long showers. Sometimes he uses all the water because he's showering for hours. He doesn't help with cleaning up and won't pick up his socks. Mom says that he's too messy and she wants to change the locks. Philip loves to go to movies and watch from the front row. He always orders popcorn and we have to crouch down low. He can't fit in my treehouse, so he watches from the ground. If I don't share my comics, though, he makes a trumpet sound. Philip sleeps in my room and he takes the bottom bunk. I always give him a hug good night and kiss him on his trunk. Philip is my buddy and we always have great fun. If I had to pick a friend for life, he would be the one. Now, this book was short and sweet, okay? And I did it in a rhyming prose. Um, rhyming prose is really hard to do. And uh, it's one of those things that if you don't get it right, then it doesn't work. And the cadence and the speed and everything has to be just so. Um, I really love this book because at the end, it shows the little boy with his elephant all curled up. And this is his imagination. And we know that kids have huge imaginations and that he brought this little uh, animal to life. So when we were doing those illustrations, I thought for sure that my nephew was going to have brown hair and brown eyes, just like his dad, but he is a carbon copy of my sister. So he has blonde hair and blue eyes <laughs> and he's the cutest, sweetest old thing ever and wild. That's what I love about him too. Um, he has no self-regard and he's a risk taker and he's fun and he's bossy and I just love him. 
So all of the little stars that we have throughout the book are um, for kids to find. And can you count how many stars are in the book? That's a really fun activity that helps make it interactive as well. And I hope that you'll check this out at pandemoniumpublishing.com. And uh, you can go to the book listing or forward slash shop and you can find all of our titles there. But thank you so much for joining me for our Countdown to Literacy Pandemonium Publishing House. And uh, I just really appreciate you being here. And we know that literacy matters in so many ways. So thank you for supporting our work. If you head over to pandemoniumpublishing.com, you'll find in the new year that we have subscriber related content. That's what we're switching over to. So I definitely hope that you'll check it out and um, you will continue to join us. So that's $29.99 a year and you get access to all of the stuff that we're gonna be putting up for authors. Um, it's going to be heavily focused on author marketing and uh, author success tips. So I hope that you'll check that out, pandemoniumpublishing.com. Thanks so much for joining me for our countdown to literacy. And I want to wish you a very safe and happy new year. Best wishes for 2022 from all of us at Pandemonium Publishing House.